I guess the main thing about baking is me having a, a huge sweet tooth. So <laughs> Hi, I'm Miley Kamisugi, the owner of Ulu and Kahlo Bakery. So when I came home from college, I realized there weren't any sweets that I would eat. I was very strict back then. No sugar, no gluten, no dairy. My friend and I were hanging out and she had Ulu. It was that moment where it's like, wow, like, I didn't even know that this was here my whole life. <laughs> And it was so tasty and I did more research on it and went to workshops and found out how healthy it is and it's just so easy to put into recipes and so versatile. Cooking with the Hawaiian staples is important just to support the farmers and local economy. Being able to know where your food is coming from and how fresh it is. And just that they're like superfoods, you know, in the starch world. You can't beat them. Ulu and kalo flour both have a lot of fiber. And then ulu flour has a lot of protein too. And just vitamins and minerals. There, there's so much more bang for your buck as far as, you know, what you're paying for bringing back health into the community, reducing the imported starches that really are nutrient void. <laughs> the Ulu Co-op creating the flour, it's really helped a lot. I can rely on someone else because really my skill is in the baking and not the flour making. It's more valuable to be focusing on what I need to focus on. I just like the way that ulu flour looks and smells. Also, it does add really good texture and taste. It basically improves the baked good, like if you were to add just a little bit even to any kind of recipe, it'll just make it that much better. 